Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here, here to do a video showing you how to unroot or unbrick your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the latest method to do so. This will uh, also put you back to stock Jelly Bean, uh, the latest update FH05. So I'm going to go ahead and do an updated video just so you can see that there is an updated method to unroot. Uh, if you are on Ice Cream Sandwich and want to update and don't care about your phone getting factory reset then you can follow this I'm actually an ice cream sandwich myself I'm just gonna go ahead and do this unroot method and it should update me to jelly bean uh, but otherwise eventually everyone's gonna be on jelly bean anyway so this will be the updated unroot method otherwise though let's go ahead and get into it so first of all uh, you do need to make sure you have your PC a data cable and uh, your phone of course so once you have that make sure you back everything up on your phone that you uh, need even on internal storage, this could potentially wipe your internal storage, so make sure you back that up. All your pictures, all your contacts, make sure you have everything backed up before you do follow this method. Um, and once you have done that, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will look like this. Shout out to Shabby Penguin along with Sock Monkey as well for these files. Uh, what we need to do is go ahead and scroll down. You need to download a couple files. First of all, if you do not have the drivers installed on your PC, you need to do so. You can click on them here. You will see where it says drivers. Click on that, download it, and install them. Uh, once you've installed drivers, you're also going to need to download Odin right here. So click on that link and download Odin. Um, and then go ahead and scroll down some more and you will see FH05 stock tar. Click on that and download that as well. So download the FH05 stock tar as well. So you need to make sure you have drivers installed, download Odin, and download the stock tar. Once you have those downloaded, you can actually go into your downloads folder or wherever uh, those files get downloaded to. And you will see here, I'm actually going to go ahead and go to my desktop and create a folder. And I will call it, hit new, folder, unroot. So there we go. I have an unroot folder right there. So you'll see I have Odin in my downloads. You can double click on it. It's a zip file. You need to transfer both of those files that's in there into that unroot folder. So click and drag both of them into that unroot folder. It will basically unzip that Odin. And then go ahead and you will see the, the tar file that's in your downloads right here. You can go ahead and click and drag that into your unroot folder as well. Just move it there. Um, you don't need to unroot anything. Just click and drag the tar file and move it there. Uh, so you'll see right there. If it says .md5 at the end, that is fine as well. Don't worry. You can say .tar or .tar.md5. Either of those work. It uh, depends on what your PC is set up at to show that. Otherwise, though, let's go ahead and get things set up. Uh, we need to go ahead and double click on Odin, and it should open up, allow it, user account control, and here we go. It will open this up right here. What we need to do is press the PDA button right here on the right side, and then it should open up your unroot folder. If it does not, go ahead and navigate to that unroot folder. Make sure you are navigated to it, and you should see that uh, uh, L700 FH05 tar file. Double click on that, and you'll see it gets put in the PDA slot. It, the box gets checked right there. Um, uncheck F reset time and only have auto reboot checked and uh, we are just about ready to go so uh, once that is done we can actually go ahead and power off our Galaxy Nexus so go ahead and just power off your device because we are going to need to get into something called download mode which is needed when you use Odin so let this power off and once fully shut down we need to get into Odin mode to do so press and hold volume down and power button at the same time Keep them both held down until the screen comes up. Keep them both held down, and there we go. So you will see you get put into download mode. It's also called, called Odin mode right here. It looks like this, um, but we are ready to go if uh, you are on this screen. So once you're on the screen, you can go ahead and plug in your phone into your PC. So plug it on in, and you will see in Odin, uh, if drivers are installing, let them install on Windows if they are installing. Otherwise, though, you will see a yellow box in Odin pop up. It should say COM and then a number. It does not matter what the number is. Um, it, it really doesn't. Just make sure there's a yellow box that pops up and says COM because that shows that Odin recognizes your device. If you have any issues with Odin at all, try using a different cable. Try using different USB ports. Try reinstalling drivers as well. The cable is usually the main culprit with issues with Odin, so just kind of keep that in mind if you do have issues. Otherwise, though, uh, once it says COM and you have the, the TAR file in the PDA slot, auto reboot check, just go ahead and hit start. We are ready to go. This is going to go ahead and put us completely back to stock. Um, it will take a bit of time. So it says, please wait. Make sure you do not unplug the cable while this is doing it. Unless it gets stuck at a certain spot, um, then again, try those troubleshooting methods that I mentioned. 
So you'll see it says system. I believe a, a progress bar should pop up. You'll see a blue prog progress bar on the phone. You'll see a green progress bar in Odin. Um, it will take a bit of time again, so just let it do its thing. I'll be back once it's getting closer to being finished. All right, so you can see it is just about finishing up. The progress bar is almost full on Odin, almost full on the phone. And what should happen is it should automatically reboot your device once it is done. Once it does reboot, the first boot up will take a little bit of time. If you do get stuck in a boot loop, we will uh, need to go into stock recovery and do a factory reset, which I can show you guys how to do if for any reason it gets stuck in a boot loop. But otherwise, uh, let's go ahead and let this finish up. And there you go, it says reset, pass. It took four minutes and 33 seconds. And there you go. So if it takes longer than 15 minutes, it's probably something went wrong. Follow those troubleshooting steps that I did mention earlier. You will see the padlock is still on there showing it's unlocked the bootloader. So we do need to relock the bootloader. So we're not done just yet. But now you will see it does have a new Jelly Bean boot animation, of course, uh, or just the same Jelly Bean boot animation. So uh, again, it will take a little bit of time to boot up. I will, again, if you get stuck in a boot loop, which I'm gonna assume is gonna happen to me, which probably won't, uh, but let, once this is passed, you can actually unplug your phone from your PC. You're done once it says pass. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out our phone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and assume it's going to get stuck in a boot loop. It might not. It may or may not. I really don't know. But uh, again, the first boot up does take a little bit of time. So what? Uh, if your phone does get stuck and just keeps rebooting, you can pull the battery, put it back in, go ahead and press and hold all three buttons, volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time and then let it uh, go into the bootloader right here. So once you do that, press volume down twice until it says recovery mode, and then press the power button to select recovery mode. Then it's gonna go ahead and take us into our stock recovery, uh, which is where we can go to, to do a factory reset. So it'll reboot us into that stock recovery. You will see a little Android guy with a red exclamation point. Just press uh, the, all three buttons, power, volume up, and volume down at the same time or at, at different times, and then eventually um, the menu should come up. Um, you just kind of keep pressing them. I accidentally hit reboot, so I don't know the exact method. If someone knows the exact method to get that menu to pop up, let me know. But if you do accidentally hit reboot, go back into the bootloader, do the same thing, and get back into recovery mode, and then just press all the buttons until the recovery mode actually shows up. All right, back at this screen, again, just press all the buttons, and then there we go. Android system recovery should eventually pop up. Once it does, all you have to do now is just go ahead and scroll down until you highlight a wipe data factory reset. Use volume down to scroll down. Um, once it highlights wipe data factory reset, press the power button to select it. And then what it's gonna do is bring you to this. Go ahead and keep uh, pressing volume down until it says delete all user data. Press the power button to select it. And then it's gonna go ahead and do a full factory reset within stock recovery on your device. Uh, that, that is in case you do get stuck in a boot loop. So let it do the factory reset. Once it's done, you can just hit reboot system. Um, so I'll be back once it's done. All right, so you see data wipe complete. Just press the power button to hit reboot system now, and then your phone should reboot, uh, fully boot up now. Um, it will take a bit of time since we did do a factory reset, so be patient with that boot up, and then let it boot up. Once it boots up, I will be back and we can finish this unrooting process. All right, once your phone boots up, you should be greeted with a welcome screen set up, all this stuff. You, you should be able to set it up now, um, just if you want to still use your phone on stock. Uh, if you would like to. Otherwise, though, we do need to complete this unrooting process because we need to relock our bootloader. So we need to get into fast boot mode, so power it off. Also, you do need to make sure you have the SDK tools installed on your PC. If you do not have them installed on your PC, then you will uh, actually need to go set that up now. I will post a link in the description that I have made on how to set up the SDK tools. But Otherwise, what we need to do is go ahead and get into the bootloader, press uh, volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time once again to take us into the bootloader here. Once we're in the bootloader, you can plug in our phone into our PC. So plug that on in while we're in the bootloader and let drivers install if they need to on your computer. Uh, but otherwise, you can go, go to your computer now once this is plugged in. And once we're at our computer, we need to open up a command prompt. So uh, go ahead and hit the start button and just type CMD and hit enter and it's gonna open up a command prompt. Again, you do need to make sure you have the SDK tools installed on your PC um, so everything is set up properly. But now, all we need to do is, first of all, let's make sure our uh, PC recognizes our device, so just go ahead and type fast boot devices, and hit enter, you'll see a bunch of numbers and letters, and you'll see fast boot, that lets us know that our PC recognizes our device. Um, and then just go ahead and type fast boot OEM lock, and that's it. 
So type fast boot OEM lock. It's gonna go ahead and relock our bootloader and that's it. So it says finish, that's all the time it took. Now just type fast boot reboot and hit enter. And that's it. So it'll go ahead and reboot our phone. You will see it says Google, but with no padlock anymore. That is because our bootloader is locked now and uh, we are good to go. We are completely back to stock. So that's it. So that is all we need to do to get every, our uh, Sprint Galaxy Nexus back to complete stock. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.